Grade 11 Trigonometry Reduction Formulae That means reducing and get rid of the, getting rid of 180 minuses, 360 minuses, that sort of thing. Right, let's have a look. Simplify sine 180 minus theta. Now let's establish a system. We've already done it in reducing actual angles, so now let's get a bit more theoretical. So I'm going to ask two questions. First of all, I'm going to say, which quadrant is that in? Now, what we must do is think of theta as being a bit of a nudge. Whatever the angle is, we think of it as a nudge, pushing it in that direction. So it means go to 180 degrees, then push back just a little bit into a quadrant. And we say, where does it push us back into? All right. And it's going to push us back into the second quadrant. There we are. Next question we say is positive or negative? Well, sine in the second quadrant is positive. Therefore, I can write that as positive, therefore, sine theta. Now, notice I've kept saying it, and I'll say it again. We are not saying 180 minus theta and theta are the same angle. They are not. Theta would be about to there. And 1a minus theta is to there. Theta's x, y, r is there. And theta's 180 minus theta's x, y, r are there. But these two angles are matched in x, y, and r other than the positives and negatives. So I'm saying instead of the y over r for that, I can put the y over r for this because they're exactly the same. 180 plus theta. 180 plus theta, nudged into the third quadrant. There we are. Now we're going to ask positive or negative. Cos of a third quadrant, negative. So it becomes negative cos theta. Tan of 180 plus theta. Well, 180 nudged on into the third. Tan of a third quadrant, positive. Therefore, positive tan theta. Cos of 360 plus theta. Well, there's 360. If we add a bit, there we are. It's actually back into the first quadrant. And cos of the first quadrant, like all other trig ratios, positive. So it's just cos of theta. Sine of 360 plus theta. 360 plus theta. So that is, in fact, into the first quadrant. And sine is always positive as well. Cos of 180, theta minus 180. Now, these can be quite tricky, but not if you use the system. So we are starting with the nudge. So we're going to go theta. There we are. We've started naught, and we've gone theta. Just a bit into there. Now we're going to go back 180 degrees. There we are. Which quadrant? Oh, third quadrant. Positive or negative? Third quadrant for cos. Negative. There we are. Finished. Tan of theta minus 180. Well, same angle. And tan of a third quadrant angle is positive. Cos of negative theta. Well, we're going to start at naught. We're going to go negative, which means we're going to go clockwise. And we're going to be nudged into the fourth quadrant. Cos of a fourth quadrant angle? Positive. So it's just cos of theta. Sine of negative theta. We're going to nudge. Fourth quadrant. And sine in the fourth quadrant, negative. So negative sine theta. So let's simplify them. There we are. Try them yourself. Cos of 180 minus theta. 180 minus second quadrant, cos negative, negative cos theta. 180 minus second quadrant, tan negative, 
negative tan theta. 180 plus third quadrant sine negative negative sine theta. 360 minus fourth quadrant tan negative negative tan theta. Fourth quadrant negative theta. Fourth quadrant tan negative negative tan theta. Theta minus 180. Well, that's going to put us in third quadrant. There we are. Sine negative, therefore negative sine theta. Cos of 360 plus theta. All the way around to 360 and on a bit. Fourth quadrant. Cos positive. Cos theta. Tan of theta minus 360 degrees. So we're going to go up a bit. And then back 360 degrees, that's going to put us in the fourth quadrant. First quadrant, going to put us in the first quadrant. Tan positive, therefore positive tan theta. Co ratios. See, pilot, co pilot. Co ratios. Oh. Okay, now let's have a look at a bit of reasoning here. I've put a theta off there and I've put a theta off there. Now if we go off the normal one, there's theta. This one here, this angle to here, is actually 90 minus theta because 90 minus theta because we have to measure our angles from here. So to get to here we go theta, but to get to there, if that's theta, then this angle here is 90 minus theta. There it is. That is x, y. Usual thing. But now have a look at this. There's the y, there's the x. Now if you have a look at this, that distance is equal to this distance. So that's now equivalent to theta's y, that's equivalent to theta's x. Which means that this is the point yx. So sine of 90 minus theta, we need to put that over r, which is x over r, which is cos of theta. Cos of 90 minus theta, I have to put that over r, and that's y over r, which is sine of theta. And there we are. Cos 30, sine 60. Sine 10, cos 80. Sine 13, cos 77. Cos 55, sine 35. Sine 45, cos 45. I hope you see a pattern there. Those are all equal to one another. Try it on your calculator. That's where the co comes from. When you're in grade 8, you learnt about complementary angles adding up to 90. Complementary. Well, that's the whole idea, you see. Cos of 30, so its complementary ratio without the co is 60. And it goes in all the other quadrants. Let's have a look here. 90 plus or minus, 270 plus or minus must go to the co ratio. 180 plus or minus, 360 plus or minus doesn't. So now we have three questions. We've already asked which quadrant, positive or negative. Now we ask, does it change to the co-ratio? Cos of 90 plus theta. First of all, which quadrant? Well, we're going to go 90 plus theta. Oh, it's a second quadrant angle. Positive or negative? Well, first of all, second quadrant. Where cos is negative. But now we say, does it change to the co-ratio? Yes, because it's on the 90, and we're going to compare it back to an angle on the x-axis. So therefore, it becomes negative sine theta. Don't say, oh, second quadrant where sine is positive. It's cos of a second quadrant angle, and cos of second quadrant equals a negative value. Sine of 270 minus theta. So you've got a 270. Nudge back. There we are. Third quadrant. There we are. 
third quadrant. Sine is negative. Because it's attached to 270, it must go to its co-ratio, therefore negative cos theta. Cos of 270 plus theta. Let's go 270 plus theta. Fourth quadrant, where cos is positive. Does it change the co-ratio? Yes, because it's attached to the 270. Positive sine theta. That's a simplifying. 90 plus theta. Try them yourselves first. Right. Quadrant. Second. Positive. Does it change? Yes. Therefore, cos theta. 270 minus. So you got to go to 270 degrees, then back a bit. Quadrant. Third. Cos negative. Change to co ratio. Yes. S negative sine theta. Sine of 270 plus theta. Quadrant 4. Where sine is negative. Does it change? Yes, because it's attached to 270. Fourth quadrant, sine negative. Yes, change to co ratio. Therefore, negative cos theta. Bit more of a big scroll. Have a look at this now. Right, sine 3070 equals alpha. Given terms of alpha, so we need to reduce 217 degrees. So, we say, well, 217, 180 plus 37, negative sine 37, negative al alpha. Fine. Sine of negative 37. Well, we add 360, and we get that. Fourth quadrant, therefore, negative alpha. We say, what does 53 have to do with 37? Ah, oh, it's 90 minus 37. Cos of 90 minus 37. Co-ratio, first quadrant, positive, but it must change to sine. Sine 37, sine 37, alpha. Cos of 127. What does 127 have to do with 37? Ah, if you're observant, you'll see... You can say 180 minus 53, which is negative cos 53, which is therefore negative alpha, or you could have said 90 plus 37 and done it that way. Tan 37. Well, remember, this is now we've got to go x, y, r. Tan 37. Y over r is alpha. Therefore, y over r, alpha, alpha over 1. So therefore we could have y alpha r1. Pythagoras theorem to find x. There it is there. Right. Now it's 37 degrees, first quadrant. Therefore we don't have the negative for the plus or minus. We have just plus. Now tan is y over r. Y over x, sorry. Y over x. So we got to put alpha the y over the x we've just found. There it is. Tan of 307. Well, 360 minus 53 is negative tan 53. And what we're going to do there now is, well, we know cos of 53, alpha, we're going to do the same thing to find y, and therefore negative tan 53, negative of x over r, and there we have tan of 307. Sun and cos do have a relationship other than co-ratios. Sine theta over cos theta is equal to what? x over r over, a uh, y over r over x over r, which is equal to y over r divided by x over r which is y over r times r over x. 
cancel the r's and we get y over x and what is y over x tan theta so now we have that sine theta over cos theta is equal to tan theta yes sine theta over cos theta equals tan theta so now if we simplify sine 180 minus theta sine 90 plus theta second quadrant positive therefore sine theta second quadrant positive but attached to 90 therefore cos theta therefore sine of a cos is tan third quadrant 180 plus tan positive 180 so it stays tan tan theta second quadrant cos 180 minus stays cos but because the second quadrant negative cos theta 270 minus puts it into the third quadrant where cos is negative so you got to have a negative and because it's attached to 270 it goes to sin which means we'll have sine over cos useful to change its sine of cos times cos all over sine notice I've done away with the negatives because negative over a negative is a plus so sine over cos that's cos and that's sine those causes cancel signs cancel we get one look at this next one you have a look third quadrant negative stays cos negative cos theta theta minus 180 that's also third quadrant we did that sort of thing earlier tan positive therefore positive tan theta cos negative theta well that's a nudge into the fourth quadrant where cos is positive cos theta nudge into the fourth quadrant where tan is negative negative tan theta tan of 180 minus theta well sec quadrant tan negative there we are and all we left with now is the tan there at one two three negatives so overall negative one over tan theta have a look here at this one I've done it in blue because see it's tan squared 360 minus theta so it's tan of 360 minus theta all squared so we're not going to consider whether it's plus or minus because it's being squared so 360 minus theta reduced to theta not because it's the same angle it's the same x y r and usually if you didn't have the squared it would become tan 360 minus theta would be negative tan theta but we have two of them multiplying so it's positive tan squared theta sine negative theta fourth quadrant sine negative negative sine theta cos 90 minus theta first quadrant positive but attached to 90 goes to its co-ratio sine so therefore we'll have that sine squared over cos squared that negative comes from this and the sine squared below we can cancel the sine squared and so we get negative 1 over cos squared here are a whole lot more to try cos 90 minus x becomes sine x that becomes plus cos x fourth quadrant negative tan x negative 1 these ones you can try yourself